Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome back. This is Cars and Cloud. <clears throat> so, in this video, I'm going to show you the process of um, copying smsts.log file to the network share during OSD migration or during OSD process. So, the reason you want to do this is because if you want to troubleshoot an issues with OSD, just say if you have a, a technician in a remote office and you know hit the installation or the OSD process keep failing and you want him to maybe send in your I mean send in the SMSTS log, log file so you can view so he has to go into the root of C drive and and save it to a network share or save it to a USB and then email it to you that's that's very um, it's a long it's a lot of process to do so this way when you um, configure automatically copy smst.log to network share any installation process or OSD's process the the log file will automatically copy to a network share so let's get started um, so first thing we need to do is go into your configuration manager and look at your test sequence. So here's my test sequence. So the package that has the setting, it's called, I call it setting package, but you can call it whatever you want. But the the package should be, you should be able to add, um, find the location of this package based on the package ID. So if I open up this task, uh, this test sequence, click on add it and it should be in Windows installation Windows install apply Windows settings wrong one apply operating system so here's the package this is my package um, and it's using the unattended XML so now let's go look at this package um, the package ID is PRI0 so that's my site code and the setting package so I should be able to find that package here under software library packages here's the package I'm going to the property of the package go to data source and find the path copy that and go to run So the file that you want to modify is called custom settings INI. Open it up. So this is what you need to add to the um, INI file, which is SLS share equals the location of the log files. So you want to make sure you create the um, a share folder for this log location. I'm going to copy this. Put in run click OK and as you can see all the um, log file for my Windows um, Windows installation if I open it up for example this one just recent if I open up this one I should be able to find my smsts.logs here You minimize that so the the folder got created based on the computer name let me show you the whole process here so so you make the change and then you save the file and you come back here and force the um, update to the distribution point make sure you do that 
and you want to wait until uh, the uh, the contents are synced to the DPs. So if I go to and create a, um, a new deployment, I'm going to my VM here. Let's create a new deployment. I'm going to call this. Call this Win 10 007. The location, I put this on a D drive. Click Next. Generation 2 for Pixie Boot. I'm going to give it 8 gigs. Click Next. I'm going to give this 40 gigs. Next, install operation later. It's fine. Click finish. I'm going to right cl uh, click on it and going to go to the settings. I'm going to change the boot, uh, boot option so it should be network. I'm going to fire it up. Click on start. Oh, wrong one. It is correct. Oh, not enough memory. Um, let's see. I'm going to have to shut down a couple of my machine. Shut down Windows. All right, that's will freeze up some memory. Go back here and let's fire it up again. Pixie boot. Hit enter. So the Pixie boot process will take a while. I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back. All right, it came up. Now let's click next. I'm going to choose Windows 1903. I'm going to enter the computer name. Windows 10 dash 007. Click next. Click next. So the process will take a while um, to complete. It's going to copy the log files at the end once it's finished. Fail or success. Now let's take a look at the log the path again. So as you can see, it's not there yet. So for now, we're just going to pause the video and we'll come back. All right, look like the, um, the OSD process is almost completed. It's probably going to take another few minutes. Let's look at the folder of the log file to see if it started copying. There it is. As you can see, the log files associated with Windows 10-007 has been copied. The folder is created and files and log all the log file has been copied. Let's look at the SMSTS logs. And as you can see, it's copying the log file locally from C Windows CCM logs to the network shares. So this is uh, easy for um, OSD admin to troubleshoot any issues. So you can just look at the log file directly from your network shares without having the technicians or the field technicians send you the log files. 
thank you for watching and if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe my channels will cover everything related to sccm office 365 microsoft intune and azure have a great day guys